Argentina's economic relations with China have been a significant aspect of the country's foreign policy in recent years. The two nations have been working together to promote trade, investment, and financial cooperation, particularly in the context of Argentina's economic challenges and the global shift towards a multipolar world order. In 2014, Argentina and China signed a currency swap agreement worth 70 billion yuan, approximately US dollar 11 billion, which was aimed at promoting the use of the yuan in international trade and reducing Argentina's dependence on the US dollar one. This agreement was part of China's broader strategy to internationalize its currency and reduce the dominance of the US dollar in global finance. The swap agreement allowed Argentina to access Chinese yuan for its foreign exchange needs, which could be used to pay for imports from China or other countries. This arrangement was particularly beneficial for Argentina, as it helped to stabilize the country's foreign exchange reserves and reduce its reliance on international financial markets. However, the impact of Chinese imports on Argentina's industrial production has been limited, as the phenomenon is confined to specific sectors. The package of trade protection measures implemented after the international crisis has enabled Argentine production to suffer less from the vicissitudes of Chinese competition. However, it has also generated an anti-export bias, which has rendered Argentine industry less competitive abroad. Therefore, there is a need for a strategic industrial policy that manages the tensions between trade protection and export incentives. China's exponential rise in international trade has caused Argentina to lose ground even in markets such as Brazil, where it enjoys Mercosur preferences. In fact, this is one of the areas most hurt by Chinese penetration. Argentina lost market share in Brazil also because other countries, such as the United States and the European Union, have also increased their exports to Brazil. In recent years, China has also been working to position its currency as an alternative to the dollar with a cross-border interbank payment system known as CIPS. This system is designed to rival the SWIFT or Western clearinghouses, which are currently the dominant players in global finance. In Argentina, Chinese investments run the gamut from being a major customer of Argentine soy to pouring billions into a wide swath of infrastructure projects. The Chinese military also runs a space station in the Patagonia province of Nuquén, and a state-owned coal and chemical company is negotiating to build a port in the southernmost province of Tierra del Fuego. In 2021, Argentina secured $3.05 billion from Chinese institutions to finance railways, power lines, lithium projects, and renewable energy in Argentina. This investment is part of a broader trend of Chinese investment in Argentina's infrastructure sector, which has been growing in recent years. The investment is also in line with Argentina's goal of diversifying its energy matrix and reducing its dependence on fossil fuels. Argentina's economic relations with China are complex and multifaceted, involving trade, investment, and financial cooperation. While there are challenges and risks associated with these relations, there are also opportunities for Argentina to benefit from China's economic growth and global influence. However, it is essential for Argentina to manage these relations strategically, taking into account the country's long-term economic and political interests. This requires a nuanced and sophisticated approach that balances the benefits and risks of closer economic ties with China while maintaining a strong and independent foreign policy.